What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another video. And today I'm giving you the 2021 Mr. Olympia final qualified competitor list, also the final point standings as well. Who qualified, who just missed out. Plus, I'm going to go over all the contenders and who can win that 2021 Mr. Olympia title. So let's get straight into it. And I'm going to go over the qualified list and go over the point standings as well and what went down over the weekend, the impact of those point standings and how they changed. So who's qualified right now? James Hollingshead, Regan Grimes, Mumdu Elsbae, which is big Rami, uh, Brandon Curry, Phil Heath, who likely will not compete, but you never know, Hardy Chupin, William Bonac, Justin Rodriguez, Nick Walker, Patrick Moore, Akeem Williams, Andrea Presti, Hunter Labrada, Ian Valier, Nathan Diasha, and Rolly Winkler. And then in the point standing, so the top three qualifier there, you got uh, Muhammad Shaban finishing on 19 points, Hassan Mustafa on 16, and also on 16 is Vlad Shorotsku. And that's brutal for Muhammad El Aman, who finishes on 15 points, just one point of qualifying for that 2021 Mr. Olympia. And he was coming second before this weekend. He competed himself, but finished outside the top five in Texas, which obviously cost him that spot at the Mr. Olympia. Had he have placed fifth or higher, he would have qualified as well. And maybe that would have even pushed out some of these other guys, but likely they would have uh, had like an equal tie for third and Hassan and Vlad still would have qualified for that Olympia as well. Also finishing on that point standings is Tim Budesheim on 13, Max Charles on 11, Phil Klaha on 11, who you know looked sensational and is a Mr. Olympia standard competitor. Um, the Laguera on nine, Dorian Haywood on eight, Charles Griffin on seven, Brett Wilkham on six, William Martins on five, Steve Kuklo on four, Mark Hector on three, Blessing of Waterbury on three, Lionel Wakey on three, Andre and Muzzi, and the list sort of goes on with a few guys on two and one points. So it sets up for a very interesting Arnold Classic because Nick Walker, who's one of the favorites going in, uh, William Bonack, one of the favorites going in, Rolly Winkler, obviously another favorite, but maybe less so after these last few contests. These guys are already qualified for that 2021 Mr. Olympia. Also, you need to throw in names as well, like Ian Valier. But one guy who isn't qualified is Steve Kuklo, who after this weekend seems determined to bring his best to that 2021 Arnold Classic because if he can actually win that, which is you know not highly likely based on the names competing, but he does have a distinct possibility of doing it. If he can do that and qualify for that 2021 Mr. Olympia, we get another really quality name in that lineup. But likely, I don't think the Arnold Classic will have any impact on the actual qualification for the 2021 Mr. Olympia. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Can one of these other guys outside the already qualified guys qualify for that 2021 Mr. Olympia by winning that 2021 Arnold Classic title? So one thing I want to ask you guys as well, do you think there should be more qualification spots open at this year's Arnold Classic for this year's Mr. Olympia? Because in a recent interview that Steve Kuklo did after that Texas show this weekend where he didn't qualify for the Olympia, he did believe it should be opened up to top three or something like that. So here's what was actually said on RX Muscle. Going into the Arnold, you have to win the show to qualify. Why not Why not open the Arnold to top three? I mean, I think uh, that the top... <sighs> Top three in that lineup would deserve to go to the Olympia this year. A absolutely. I mean, the Arnold's always been the Olympia minus one or two guys. And that's, it's, look at the lineup in the Arnold right now. It is the Mr. Olympia minus Big Rami and Curry. And I think you yeah. look at the lineup and with, if you take top three, those top three guys are going to be in the top five of Mr. Olympia as well. So, absolutely. They will. Um, I, I, I think that would be something awesome if they could do that. Absolutely. I would I would encourage that. I would be behind the head and and I think that needs to happen. So if you want to watch that full video, click the link in the description below on that. And let me know what you think in the comments. How many spots do you reckon should be open up in the 2021 Arnold Classic to qualify for the 2021 Olympia? Because it was changed and when it first opened up, it was you know, just qualifying for 2022, as far as I know. And then it was changed to the winner will qualify for that 2021 Olympia. And now, you know, people are saying that they want it changed again. And for me, I think it's maybe a little bit too much if they keep constantly changing the rules and bending them just so they can get certain guys into the Olympia. I think it's, you know, obviously a harsh reality. And we all do want to see Steve Kuklo on that 2021 Olympia stage. But I think changing the rules just because one person didn't qualify or giving wild cards and stuff like that sort of ruins the credibility of the qualification system for the Mr. Olympia and turns it more into an Arnold Classic where it's an invite-only sort of thing. So let me know what you think in the comments below on that. So I want to discuss who are and who aren't the contenders for that 2021 Olympia title. So let's go over a few of the names that could potentially contend for that title. Now, Nick Walker obviously came out and said that's his goal, that's his mission to win that 2021 Olympia, his first go out. Now, can he do that and make that a reality? It's sort of a bit of an unknown. I mean, he competed against Justin Rodriguez and to be honest, I think he made handy work of Justin Rodriguez as good as Justin is. And Justin's a top 10 Mr. Olympia finisher. 
So that puts Nick, you know, at least well above 10th place in the Olympia if he brings that same sort of package. Now, I think Nick's improving based off the photos we're seeing seven weeks out of the Olympia versus seven weeks out of that New York Pro. He's looking considerably better. Could he burn out and get worse? Absolutely. But the trajectory he's on right now sees him doing better than that. So where does that push him? So just say maybe what he brought to New York pushes him to fifth place or somewhere around there. If he gets better again, where does that push him? To third, to second, to potentially winning it if a few guys are off? Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comment below on Nick Walker because he's a real interesting one and he's a real wild card to see how he looks against these other big names, the top six Olympia finishers. A guy who slipped a little bit last year, that's William Bonac. Now, he beat Big Rami, he beat Dexter Jackson, he beat a bunch of really good names in that 2020 Arnold Classic. At the Olympia, he slipped a little bit down to fifth from second the year prior. Now, I don't think that was William Bonac's best. I thought he looked better at that Arnold Classic. I think that he can come back and bring his best once again and place really high and potentially win that 2021 Olympia because there's no guarantee that Big Rami's going to come in 100% on. Last year was his best ever. Can he repeat that again and bring equal or his best ever again? I mean, he's coming out to the US a lot earlier than normal to stay with Dennis James, which I think is a very good move. But can William Bonnet come in and win that like Dexter Jackson did in 2008? Absolutely. He's got that kind of physique. And if a few people slip up, William Bonnet will be better to take that 2021 Olympia title. Now, Hardy Chupin, extremely impressive last year. He came in last minute to that Mr. Olympia and looked sensational. I mean, prejudging, he wasn't quite his best. Finals, he came back better and placed second at the finals. So he finished third overall. But had he come out in like he was at the finals at the prejudging, he would have placed second to Big Rami. So he's definitely a contender. He brings a level of conditioning and separation that some of these other guys don't bring. And I think that will hold him in really, really good stead. He gets really hard and really grainy. Plus, he has a ton of muscle as well. So Hardy Chupin, no doubt is a contender for that 2021 Olympia title. Now, Brandon Curry, your 2019 Mr. Olympia, your 2020 runner-up of that Mr. Olympia, people are sort of sleeping on him a little bit considering how good Brandon actually is. He brought great conditioning to last year's Mr. Olympia. His legs were a little bit downsized, which did hurt him in the end, especially up against Big Rami, who has some of the craziest legs. Also, Hardy Troopin has crazy legs. Like a bunch of these guys have really, really good legs up in that top five. But his conditioning was, I think, best ever. And I think if he can bring a little bit more fullness like he did in 19, bring that same level of conditioning, we see what he's looking like right now by the Oxygen Gym update that came out recently. He is a legit contender for that title. And had Big Rami obviously been a little bit off, then Brandon Curry would have repeated and won that 2020 Olympia title as well. And we'd be talking about a guy going for his third title at the 2021 Mr. Olympia. So don't sleep on Brandon Curry whatsoever for this Olympia title. Now, Big Rami, obviously a contender. He's last year's reigning Mr. Olympia, and he's going to be very, very hard to beat if he can bring the same or better than last year because it was a great package last year. But I still think there's a little bit of room for improvement as well, which is crazy to say. So... I'm interested to see what Big Rami will bring this year. I think it's probably going to be a very good version of Big Rami, but could it get to Big Rami doing these really hard preps because he's never sort of done it like this before. So I'm very excited to see what Big Rami brings to this year's Olympia. And it might be one of those Olympias where he walks out and we go, okay, he's Mr. Olympia. It's easy for Rami this year because he brought conditioning and he's the biggest guy on the stage by far. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Who do you think wins for 2021 Mr. Olympia? And who do you think is being overlooked a little bit? Is it a William Bonac? Is it a Brandon Curry? Is it maybe a Nick Walker? or one of these other guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And a few of the guys that are potential contenders as well, Rolly Winkler. Now, we talked about him, obviously, as a contender before the comps he just did the last couple of weeks. And now people are saying that he's definitely not a contender. I don't think he'll be a contender this year. Is he a contender for the top six? Absolutely. He definitely can if he can train a little bit. Obviously, you know, he's got more weeks to train now for this Olympia. I think he'll come in improved, but will it be good enough to potentially win an Olympia? I don't think so this year, but maybe next. Akeem Williams, a guy who's absolutely enormous, brings a huge amount of muscle. I think he can move up this year. How much can he move up? I don't know. It depends, really. I mean, if Akeem is slightly off of his conditioning, he really does slip a lot. So he needs to be razor sharp, and he needs to bring that fullness as well. So I can't wait to see what he brings to this year's Olympia. I think we might see an all-time best Akeem. How much can he improve on 2020? remains to be seen. And I think that he might improve slightly. And how good would that be in terms of placings? It might move him up a spot or two, but... That top five is very, very good. And Nathan Diasha, now this is one I wasn't really going to mention because I might get a little bit of blowback on it, but Nathan Diasha beat a Rolly Winkler this weekend convincingly. He was that good. And Nathan Diasha is greatly improved. Now, Nathan, I don't think was at his best all-time conditioning. If he can bring this same level of fullness with crazy conditioning, I mean, I don't know if it's Olympia contending, 
but I think it'll definitely push him into the top six. So let me know what you think in the comments below on that, because I think Nathan is, even after this contest on the weekend, going in a little bit underrated to the 2021 Mr. Olympia. So let me know what you think on all this in the comments below. What do you think about the lineup for the 2021 Mr. Olympia? Who will be your 2021 Mr. Olympia? And who do you have placing like top three, top five, and all that sort of stuff? So let me know what you think in the comments below on that. And also, should they open up more qualification spots at the 2021 Arnold Classic for this year's Olympia? So that's it for me. If you guys like and appreciate this content, please give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So for Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding, we are out.